Action. Hi, my name is Alice and my husband and I own and operate Cox Unlimited Pheasant Hunting Guide Service in Gregory, South Dakota. And I am going to show you how to prepare pheasant South Dakota style. I have in this bag of uh, flour, I just took three-fourths of a cup of flour and added a tablespoon of Lowry seasoning salt and I debone my thighs and my breast. So just shake it up and get your pheasant well coated and have uh, your oil heated up to about medium high heat and you just want to brown it good on both sides. Just till it's golden brown. And then we're going to add, we're going to deglaze our pan as soon as this is done with a cup and a half of red wine, three-fourths of a cup of grape jelly, and this is wild grape jelly. If you do not have wild grape jelly, just buy grape jelly from your local grocer. Or also I have used plum and choke cherry, and it works just as well. And then I'm going to add two cans of Heinz home-style gravy and a can of French onion soup. So as soon as this is brown, I'm going to add it to a baking dish that's been well greased. Turn your pheasant, brown it on the other side. Let that cook for about another five minutes. And I'm going to deglaze my pan with the red wine, a cup and a half of dry red wine. Add your grape jelly to it and just stir it around until it's melted. Then add your two jars of Heinz home style gravy and one can of French onion soup. And you want this gravy nice and thick. So I've taken a tablespoon and a half of cornstarch and added it to a fourth of a cup of water and bring that to a simmer. Let it cook till it's thick. And then you dump it over your pheasant and make sure you have plenty of gravy on your bird. Pheasant is very dry. So you want it well covered and a tight fitting lid. And bake it at 325 degrees for about an hour and a half. And there you have it, pheasant, South Dakota style. Enjoy.